I'm CJ Avila, and this is Web Development 101. We're gonna talk about the really high level basics if you wanted to start writing code for the web. So right now we're visiting example.com in our Chrome browser, and we can see we have uh, like a little bit of a gray background, and then this part has a white background, uh, and this the structure of the page has maybe like some text example domain, and so we're able to see these things laid out on the page. Um, so this, is, this page is being returned to us as HTML. So we have two different kinds of websites, generally a static and a dynamic. A static website is typically implemented with uh, just raw HTML JavaScript and it's hard coded, uh, meaning like if you want to change the look and feel of the page, you would need to go modify the HTML, so edit the actual code that is behind the page that's being returned, whereas a dynamic website might be generating the HTML on the server before it's sent back to the client. When we talk about client, we're talking about the browser on your end user's computer. So here we have a program called a browser, uh, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, all these are uh, programs that are running on your computer, your laptop or whatever, uh, also on your phone. These programs are making a HTML TTP requests to a server somewhere and getting back some data and they're showing that data on the page. Now most of the time when we're clicking around the web, we are interacting with pages that are rendered using HTML. Uh, and so the very first thing we'll talk about is HTML, but um, the three kind of like core languages that are going to be used by the browser to present the page is HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So HTML is a language that uh, it stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it defines the structure of the page. Uh, and there's a couple of different ways that you can use tags to define that, that structure. Then you can use uh, the language called CSS, Cascading Style Sheets, to style the page, to make it look and feel the way that you want. And then finally, we have JavaScript, which is a scripting language that you can use either on the client or on the server um, to modify the HTML. You can move things around and make things interactive with, with JavaScript. Um, a static website might use all three of these. It might just use HTML, um, whereas a dynamic website is generally going to uh, use some other language that will generate the HTML that is returned to the client. And we'll dig into that a little bit more later. Hopefully that's helpful. Let's head to the next video where we're gonna talk about HTML.